Pakistan is the most dangerous country in the world. Who says that? Who decided that? And why? Today, together, we put the statement to rest. Keep watching this video to the very end to decide if this is true or false. In 2019 alone, 992 million foreigners visited Pakistan, including the then Duke and Duchess of Cambridge, Prince William and Kate Middleton. Now pay attention to Pakistan's unique features. We are home to the world's oldest civilizations, the world's highest mountain peaks, the largest seaport in the world, the tallest paved road in the world, the highest polo field in the world, the largest man-made forest in the world, the largest volunteer ambulance service in the world. There is so much more to Pakistan that the world should discuss than calling us just dangerous and sometimes calling us intolerant. Listen, every country has problems, but that doesn't mean that its people are intolerant. Let's put this conversation to rest also. The holiest site for Sikhs in Pakistan, the Nankana Sahib Gurdwara, where every year thousands of Sikhs come to perform their pilgrimage. In Mardan, Taxala and Swat, you shall find a number of religious Buddhist sites. Pakistan is also home to the second most religious site for Hindus, the Katastraj Temple in Chakwal. Holy Trinity in Karachi is an 18th century church that is really sacred for the Christian community. There are so many more non-Muslim religious holy sites in Pakistan. How can we be intolerant? Wait a minute. I know, I know that you must be wondering that there are movies and drama serials that portray Pakistan and Pakistanis as dangerous. But they will never tell you that how caring, selfless and philanthropic we are. I will tell you. According to The Economist, the Citizens Foundation manages the largest network of independently run schools in the world. For more than 27 years, they have been educating the less privileged children for free across Pakistan. The Shokat Khanna Memorial and Cancer Hospital treats more than 75% of its poor cancer patients free. Ahuat, the largest microfinance institution in Pakistan, provides interest-free loans and have empowered 5.4 million people to date. LRBT provides free eye care to the poor and has treated more than 51 million people in Pakistan. I wondered if Pakistan was actually dangerous. Would all of this be happening here? Why would bloggers and influencers like Trevor James from Canada, Eva Zubek from Poland, Mark Waynes and Angela Carson from America, Khalid al from the Emirates would visit explore and enjoy the beauty of our country. Well, if all these foreigners and many others are promoting the best of Pakistan, I wonder who calls it a dangerous country? Now, it's your turn to tell us in the comments. Do you still agree or disagree with Pakistan being a dangerous country in the world?